en los 40, yo soy Riva y hoy me siento muy, muy, muy feliz de estar con la increíble y fabulosa Sabrina Carpenter, quien fue el opening act para las cuatro fechas del Eras Tour de Taylor Swift y que nos viene a contar todo sobre su más reciente álbum, Emails I Can Send Sabrina. Welcome to los 40, welcome to Mexico City. Thank you so much, thank you. I'm so excited. I know I'm really hyped because <laughs> I'm here with you and I was at the Eras Tour, as you can see. Oh, I can tell. Yeah, I watched your show and... The nails are so cool of course the eras nails love tours love oh amazing. my god you have to go all in you all know out, yeah. all out yes well you know after wrapping your own tour you're now with taylor joining her opening each night of the eras tour in her international dates how one prepares for something like that you you don't i mean it's just i feel so lucky to have been able to be on tour for the last year and a half and uh, getting to tour this album has meant a lot to me because it's just a very special album to me and I feel like I've, you know, after a few years of not really knowing if we were going to be able to tour or do shows anytime soon, it's just been the most incredible year um, and to, you know, be able to join this tour is just like the most insane thing ever. That's fantastic. Yeah. Sabrina nos cuenta un poco sobre, obviamente, estar girando con Taylor Swift en su Eras Tour y yo le preguntaba que cómo uno se preparaba para eso y me decía, bueno, pues que ha sido algo fantástico. Llevaba un año de gira con su propio álbum, de un álbum bastante personal del cual hablaremos más adelante y decía, bueno, pues que ha sido una experiencia fantástica y que se puede decir que el haber hecho el tour para su álbum la preparó para justamente estar en el Eras Tour también. And you know, the feeling and the energy is pretty different from the States versus Mexico yes. City. Let's talk a little bit about that. Let's talk about it, because yeah. you guys need credit. <laughs> you guys are, I mean, so loud, so vibrant, and just so welcoming and supportive. I mean, I didn't really know what to expect. I'd never performed in Mexico City before, and it was just like beyond what I could have ever imagined. Um, and everyone was just so dressed, like, like you with your bracelets and nails, like everyone has that energy at the show. So that's a very, very cool, Um, like atmosphere to be in. Definitely. Yeah. Le preguntaba obviamente por el cambio de energía que hay cuando abre los shows en Estados Unidos a cuando los abre en un lugar como Ciudad de México y decía, eso fue algo increíble que no lo esperaba, nunca había eh, pues tenido la oportunidad de hacer un show en México y pues no sabía qué esperar, pero que fue muy lindo el ver que se encontró con un público que estaba preparado para recibirla, para saludarla, pues que todos estábamos listos con nuestros looks, con nuestras uñas, todos en un ambiente muy, muy, muy eh, dado para que todo saliera muy bien and let's talk about dreaming of you okay. this is such a special song for us yeah. and when you sang that song you you got us we, we oh, were yours thank you how did you decide that was the perfect song to blow our minds oh that's so nice oh my gosh that's a big statement i um honestly there was really no question that was kind of immediately the song i wanted to sing um for my first time performing here i've loved that song since i was so little and like i just i feel like it was you know it, it could have been received anyway, obviously, but it was just something I really wanted to do. So um, I'm glad that we got to we got to do something a little bit special just for Mexico City. Um, yeah, and I'm glad, like there was so many lights in the air and that yeah. felt really emotional and um, very special. So thank you, that means a lot. It was such a pretty and unique moment. Thank you. Let's talk about, eh, pues Sabrina cantó Dreaming of You de Selena y fue un momento absolutamente mágico. Todos, todos, todos en el Foro Sol nos quedamos como viéndola eh, con su preciosa voz y le pregunté que por qué había escogido esa canción y dijo, es una canción que me gusta mucho desde que soy muy pequeña y sentía que tenía que ser algo especial para mi primera vez cantando en Ciudad de México y que veía todas las luces a todas las personas recibiéndola con tanta energía y que fue un momento absolutamente maravilloso, por supuesto, en las cuatro fechas. And you know, we have to talk about the outros of Nonsense. Okay. Oh my God, how did you get inspired? with not with Mexico City to create not just one but two three the, four different for each of every night right um I'm just <laughs> sick in the head um <laughs> and you know when I thought about it I thought about a lot of different you know because I've been doing the outros for a while now but I've never yeah. done it for Mexico City so I was like well they're gonna feel they might feel gypped if I don't and there's definitely some people that are like stop doing them and then there's other people that are like never stop never stop we love them so now I'm in this like place where I mean it truly I think of it as like the crowd that is there in that yeah. moment it is for them wherever else it goes beyond that is really out of <laughs> my control but I mean It's really fun to be able to make each show unique, and that's all I'll say about that, so. 
Yeah. yeah, we create different and unique memories yeah. with you as we did with Taylor. Estaba preguntando por los outros que hace para su, para su canción Nonsense, que todas las noches en la Ciudad de México hizo un outro diferente, jugó con palabras como con mis chicas in Mexico City. I, I remember that was from last con night. Con mis chicas, Con yeah. mis chicas in Mexico mm -hmm. City. Y nos decía Sabrina que le gusta hacer que su show sea único para cada una de las fechas, de crear recuerdos que sean diferentes y pues que es algo que a muchas personas les gusta. Otras dicen como, no, ya deberías dejar de hacerlo, pero pues es algo que se volvió viral y que sí hace que sea algo único y diferente para su show. And I love all the sass and the provocative jokes on him, you know? And <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> let's talk now, now about the album because pop music has been evolving in such a fun way for the last decade. And you've been around evolving and discovering your own voice and your own sound. You said that this was a pretty unique and important album. Let's talk about the vulnerability you found from yourself in it. I think it, it came down to uh, I was at a particular time in my life where I couldn't really afford to not be honest because, you know, like I said, the world was just so uncertain and everything that was happening. And also, it really was therapeutic and healing. I mean, people say those words all the time when it comes to writing, you know, autobiographical songs. But in a real way, I mean, it was like writing the album kind of got me through really hard years of my life. And um, and then it, it, it kind of didn't really resonate with me that it was going to be out in the world. And then what happened beyond that, I just didn't really expect any of it. It just it's been so amazing to be able to to make music that I just feel so personally attached to because it makes it so much more fun to sing live and to be able to see people singing those songs with you. Um, yeah, and it's been it's been great because I think that the album has a lot of different parts of my personality within it. So it's not just like one thing. I mean, it's it's basically like being a 21 year old girl summed up because it's all over the place. Ah, that's yeah. beautiful. I want to translate each and every word you said because Sorry, the, the, that's, it's so important. So no, 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 oh my yeah. gosh. no, 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 please, no, please say everything because I love, I'm going to say bigger love, words no, too that are please, harder to translate. Please do them. <laughs> okay. Le estaba preguntando obviamente por su álbum Emails I Can Send porque es un álbum muy vulnerable como ella misma lo decía y pues la música pop ha evolucionado mucho durante los últimos 10 años y ella ha estado ahí como para capturar diferentes momentos y me decía, le decía que habláramos sobre eso, sobre la vulnerabilidad, me decía Sabrina que pues era un momento en el que había mucha incertidumbre con respecto a la pandemia y que no era un momento en el que ella pudiera darse el lujo de no ser sincera, entonces que eso fue lo que hizo, ser sincera en su álbum, escribir eh, sus vivencias y pues que fue un trabajo terapéutico y ella dice pues que sí, que todo el mundo dice que cuando se habla de escribir canciones autobiográficas todo el mundo dice no pues es una terapia pero que realmente lo es y más en el momento en el que el mundo estaba además que también el hecho de que es un álbum muy completo en el que no es solo una cosa sino que es un trabajo en el que se encuentran tantas facetas de su personalidad hace que sea algo totalmente especial y que sea algo que pues le llegue a la gente y que no esperaba de pronto ella tener el resultado y el amor que le han expresado a este álbum And, you know, I wanted to ask you, what was the most unexpected thing you discovered about yourself while working on these lyrics, while working on how you wanted to put yourself out for this new era, <laughs> um, let's say? The thing I recognize about myself, I would say that um, I think it was a lot about trusting, like, m my own thoughts and the way that I view the world. It was like a really important thing to just like uh, stick to my own intuition. I mean, that's a really hard thing at this age to, to trust. Is But you're own? a Taurus. You're I stubborn. I am a Taurus. I am a Taurus. Thank <laughs> God. Um, yeah, so so I think I learned a lot more about trusting my intuition through, through making the album just because at the end of the day, it was like the stuff that really felt like me was the stuff that, you know, I was, I was being as vulnerable as I could be. So, um, yeah, I would say trusting mm. your intuition. That's beautiful. Thank you for sharing with us that. Oh, thank you for listening. Le estaba preguntando a Sabrina sobre lo más inesperado que tal vez descubrió de sí misma a la hora de estar trabajando en este álbum. Y ella decía pues que básicamente el confiar en su intuición, en confiar en lo que ella sentía que tenía que ser y cómo se tenía que ser para el mundo realmente de una manera mucho más honesta, de una manera mucho más directa y que básicamente eso fue un trabajo de confianza en sí misma, de confiar en su intuición. Yo le decía pues que obviamente como es Tauro, es una persona que es totalmente determinada y que siempre va así y dice que sí, pues soy Tauro, entonces es totalmente determinada. And you know, let's talk about uplifting women in music, because while I was growing up a million years ago, um, <laughs> Uh, there was What? not that no, no yeah trust me you, you wouldn't know how, how how old am i but uh, but you know 
you know, now there's a lot of camaraderie and sorority with you, Taylor, and how Taylor expresses about you and, you know, your collab with 5050, with Cupid, yeah. as I love. Let's yeah, talk about you. empowering and uplifting women in music as you do. It feels like such a special time. I mean, any time that I see women dominating the music industry, it just feels so exciting and it feels so well deserved. I mean, I've admired female artists my entire life. They're, they're, they're the reason I can get up on a stage and feel confident or uh, feel like I have the ability to do that. I mean, I've been watching performers ever since I was a little girl, obviously Taylor being one of them. Uh, and yeah, I mean, it just feels, it feels so, so well deserved. And, and it's also really fun when you get to collaborate with like your female peers, because it just feels, so fun. I mean, like I'm in my I'm in my I love being a girl like moment in life. I just feel like I'm so lucky uh, to be able to kind of, you know, be around other females in this industry and just look up to them and watch them shine. That's beautiful. Le preguntaba un poco a Sabrina por obviamente el hecho de inspirar a otras mujeres por la camaradería que se encuentra ahorita en el mundo de la música. Le contaba que tal vez el momento en el que yo crecí no se veía eso, pero que ahorita es muy inspirador y ella decía que definitivamente ha sido un viaje el poder reconocerse con otras artistas, el poder hacer colaboraciones, el poder disfrutar de estar lado a lado y también impulsar a mujeres. Ella dice pues que al estar en contacto con artistas femeninas es lo que a ella le ha permitido pues verlas y querer hacer lo mismo, seguir sus pasos y poder ella misma estar en un escenario, así que es algo realmente inspirador y muy emocionante. And you've done it all. You are a designer, you sing, you dance, you act, you produce. You know, let's talk a little bit about Broadway because you were Katie Heron in Mean Girls. I was. That was fantastic. We, it was two days, but yeah, I technically was on but the, the stage. But the impact girl. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> it. It was, I mean, that's something I hope I can return to at some point in life, uh, the, the Broadway stage, because I felt so... Um, I felt like I learned so much in such a short period of time just watching the incredible people uh, part of that show and then in other shows and um, yeah, I mean, it was, a, it was a bummer that it got cut short, but I also felt very lucky to be a part of it. Preguntó un poco por su participación en Broadway como Katie Heron en Mean Girls, dijo que fue muy impactante, que fue algo que la marcó muchísimo, que duró muy poco, pero que quiere volver a Broadway y es que Sabrina Carpenter lo hace todo, canta, actúa, baila, produce, tiene sus perfumes, hace mil y un cosas. Le decía obviamente que qué expectativas tiene de las nuevas fechas, para Brasil y para Argentina y me decía que bueno divertirse que es el show más grande de la historia y que el ser parte de ello la hace muy muy feliz Sabrina Carpenter thank you for being with us en los 40 gracias gracias a ti you speak beautiful Spanish uh, gracias please come back and let's keep making music you are amazing thank you sorry